Are you stressed out? Is your mind clouded? Listen to this message as you strengthen your relationship with God. You know, while, I, while we were doing the Apostolic Empowerment Conference, I gave a testimony about a friend of mine whose auntie's husband died and they took the auntie in, trying to comfort her, to make her feel okay. But they were committed to a prayer, all right? Prayer in the night. And they noticed that any time the prayer is heated, the woman that they just brought in will be looking for her charger. <laughs> she will just get busy. Ah, that my charger, that. Is it here? Now, you see, even though the woman provided so many evidences that it's as though the prayer was affecting her, but they, they couldn't know it until the Holy Spirit revealed it. So it was still a mystery. Even though it, the thing was around, the thing was manifesting, her identity, oh yeah, but it didn't just occur to them until in that same prayer, the Holy Spirit now revealed it, that this woman is a witch. It was a mystery until it was revealed. So something that is a mystery is beyond your reach. You, can, you will not even think about it. It wouldn't even occur to you. But it can only uncall to you when the Spirit of God provides what? Inspiration. You understand that? Discloses it. Then you can enter into the economy of a mystery. You cannot know something that a spirit being decides to disclose. You can't know it naturally. Except that spirit being helps you to come into the knowledge of it. So it is a mystery because it, with your best efforts at research, your eyes have not seen it. Your ears have not heard it and it has not occurred into your heart. It's beyond the scope of your evaluation because it is held or withheld by a spirit being. So this is what the Bible is saying, that even before you give your life to Christ, are you still with me? Yes, sir. Before you give your life to Christ, there were several things that God um, derived in himself that was intended by God to put you on the advantage in your generation. But those things are held up by God and sealed by his spirit. Those things are mysteries. So you cannot stumble on those things just because you attended a university, you were in a lecture before a professor, or you stumbled into a library. It is beyond what your heart can conceive naturally, except it is disclosed to you by the spirit of God. You see, the, your life is not an accident. It doesn't matter how you were conceived, but it's not an accident. God... The sovereign had a hand in it. The mistake that people made that you resorted wasn't a mistake. That was what I'm saying. And when, meanwhile, there is nothing that your destiny has in the days to come that is related to that mistake that they made. If you, if you, if you come into Christ, the next thing you need to do is to find out this hidden wisdom that God put in his laboratory. They are in test tube form, hidden wisdom that is, this, this is, is intended by God to propel your life into maximal productivity. Are you there? So if you don't know the spirit that is responsible for disclosing this wisdom, you will live another life apart from the life that God intended. That's the problem. You will live beneath the civilization that this wisdom is supposed to empower you to operate in or operate from. Is that clear? Now, so this is one of the great reasons why we need to pursue intimacy because the secrets of our lives that have been blessed by God to be the reason for our advancement are hidden in mystery form. And there is only one spirit that is licensed to give us access into what we call the economy of the mystery. Are you there? So there's a mystery of God. I was born in Stamara. My disadvantages were many. Born in Stamara, I could not speak. So where do I stand in the community of people that don't have a speech impediment like myself? Are you following Yes, my father was well to do, but he was so compassionate that he felt he was responsible for every family 
that was in his village. So he goes to the village and he comes back with somebody that will stay with us. He goes and then the person doesn't even want to understand English, but the one that was with oh, it, it, it was amazing. It was amazing. So he, he goes to the village, he comes back with another person. So until at some point in our home, we were 27. Not because my dad was a polygamist, but he was a lover of men. So I, I personally did not have any special treatment from my dad because he was always solving people's problems, always solving this. They say, okay, there's a problem here that uh, if our village is in court. It's my father, they'll come and meet and say, okay, how are we going to this case now? How are we going? Then he will sit down and give them a lecture on the history of the clan. The, this is where we come from. This is where the problem started. This is, this, 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 these are the documents. Did they? Now, so the person that would have given me guidance, maybe walked me, he's very intelligent, very, very intelligent. And he was one of the first people that got a scholarship to school in the U.S. He schooled in Georgia, 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 okay? So his English is impeccable. His writing is like a computer. You want to be like him? Oh, my God. He had the right height. He had the right baritone. He had everything. Handsome man. But he, he didn't have time for me. The stammerer that was trying to find his feet. And the way life put me, I was already on the disadvantage. And there was no way anything great could come out of me. And uh, people around also figured that, okay, greatness is not, doesn't look like this. All right? But unfortunately for them, I found the economy of the mystery. <laughs> So a lot in your life depends on your ability to access this mystery. Is that clear? And it doesn't matter how many witches are against you, how many demons have taken up your case, you know, that you come from a long line of witches and feminists in darkness and you were supposed to inherit the, the substance of the priesthood and that's why your life is complicated. There is something called the mystery. And the Bible reveals that even the princes of this world do not know this mystery. It means that, are you there? God fortified this mystery before creation began. And it happens to be that Satan is a created being. So there's an extent to which his wisdom can suffice. And there is a dimension to which he has no knowledge that those dimensions exist. It's on the strength of the things that were hidden before creation began that God has ordained this mystery. Satan does not know it. In fact, the hope of Satan to know this mystery is when Satan sees the mystery operating through your life, then he will need to study your life as a project work in order for him to understand history that you are working with. Now, in that situation, Meanwhile, that's what the Bible says. I didn't just say this. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 10 says that principalities and powers will need to look at us to, in order to update their knowledge of the manifold wisdom of God. When your life begins to operate according to that mystery, you are ahead of the devil. Satan knows that the only way he can get you to fall is to distract you from the path that that mystery is making available to you. If the devil can haunt your intimacy with God, he can truncate you from accessing that mystery. The mystery is not just, it's, it's not just like a treasure hunt and then you just find a gold chest ah, once and for all and you take and you sell and they become rich. No. It is a perpetual continuum. It keeps unfolding. It keeps unfolding. And the more you align, the more your life begins to reflect its dynamics, its glory. The Bible says that this mystery, this hidden them, God put it aside and the reason for which God kept it aside was for your own glory. So God did not keep it from you. God kept it for you. Please help me preach to your neighbor. Say God did not keep it from you. God kept it for you. So according to the mystery of my own life, God wanted to be glorified by getting a stammerer to preach his gospel. You know, that's not what you would do, but that's what God decided to do. So he conscripted me to be 
a preacher of the gospel. And I assure you, I did not have what it takes to preach the gospel because fundamentally I could not speak. Still by that mystery that God gave me vocal power. And my vocal power is only potent and 100% available when I'm on the pulpit. You might find me on the ground one of those days where the symptoms of stammering besieges me and you'll be you'll wonder. You see, the reason why you, it's still a wonder is because it's a mystery that is unfolding. 